Hello YouTube, DeathLord91 here, welcome back to the Mad Max New Vegas Challenge, this is episode 3. Last video, we were trying to get the townspeople to rally up and help Ringo, but I'm having problems getting to talk to Trudy because I need 25 to sneak or speech and I can't find any magazines, so we're gonna go wander out and explore. Now, right now, the powder gangers are friendly to me. This is Jane, that's a medical book. Definitely take those. That's nice. Uh, hi. Okay, that was just random Robin Thorpe's here. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's a powder game, I don't want to attack. over there that's, that's interesting. Oh, that's the NCR facility. That's what that is. I'll go discover just so I can get some XP. a little bit longer to level up at first, but then, you know, once you get the harder enemies and everything, it becomes so much easier. So much easier. And I'm letting you guys decide who Mad Max is going to side with, the NCR or the Legion. Or, I just thought of something. What if I do one ending for both? I save one game, and then I split off help the NCR, and then I reload that save, and go help the lead. Do you guys think that would be a better idea? I think I might have to put that in the comments below. There's power gangers everywhere. That's probably why there aren't any geckos here, because there's already places for enemies. At least that's what I think. This is new. We can't fire, I can't make anything. Take that bobby pin. There's nothing else in there. What's over here? I see the little drop. Oh, that's their camp. I hope those bombs don't go off. Damn, running low on smokes again. I'll give you smokes if you give me like 100 XP so I can. Oh, wow. This is actually my third time playing hardcore mode. And I actually have finished, I actually have all the trophies for this game. It took a little while, but I did get all of them. It's weird, there's usually like geckos running around right here. Horse, white, horse nettle. Is that how you say that? Horse nettle. I think 
think of um what what is that called? It's Sniper Elite. And also in the zombie version of it. Was it like reaction time or something? I can't remember what it's called, but that's what that reminds me of. Well, I've got one gecko and some XP. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Yeah, I know. I don't care. I can take care of myself. It's your app. Don't say we warned you. Can't take the ammo, but I can't take the empty soda bottles, which is interesting. Because there are some other areas where you can't take any of the empty bottles, but they don't care if you take the ammo. It's, it's weird. I just look at it, I'm like, you're not using it, you have a pile of them, I just need one. So this is kind of a checkpoint right here. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Now, going across here, we got to deactivate these mines. For 5 XP apiece. Not only pops up 10, because I deactivated 2 really quick. You deactivate like two or three really quick. It will count them together. And there's an enemy right around that corner against the side. So I gotta sneak my way over there. <sighs> Sorry for that. My allergies have been bad lately, which is weird because it's getting colder. We have allergy problems. What in the world? Okay, there he is. Don't tell me they're all glitched. I think they're glitched. They're glitched. Oh crap, here we go. Yes, I am still using the bomb rifle. weapon to be using in this situation right now, but whatever. Uh, let's see if I can confuse them. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're gonna run it. Shot. You're gonna run it. Is that a headshot? <laughs> that was a headshot. didn't show it, they fell to the map. So help with the later missions that are in this area. Picking someone's pocket and placing a mine if an in their to activate the explosive can cause one heck of a mess. Yes, it will. And it's even better when you have bloody mess on the too. Oh, there Let's go ahead 
make that 25 as well. Done. There's usually a key up here. I can't open either one of those. That sucks. Sometimes a guy will come around that corner and he'll see me. It's not fun. Because you have to deal with him. Which I wouldn't mind, more XP. But right now, well, I just came over here to get XP to help the town of Good Springs. I would like to know whose idea it was to give powder gangers dynamite. Did they somehow convince people, hey, it will be easier for us to, to do this work if you give us dynamite? Is that what happened? I hope that's not what happened, because that just makes them look stupid then. I think it would be fun to save my money up and actually go visit places that are in the uh, Fallout games. Just all these people that like they dressed up in vault suits. One one one. They went. Um, they actually went to Boston, to where all the locations were, and they took pictures and stuff. It was uh, actually really cool. Chet. Oh, Chet's asleep. That's why I was like, where is he? You looking to buy some supplies? Another. You made your point. Feeling thirsty? The people out. I know she will. Now that I have sneak and speech of 25. Feeling thirsty? No. 
That does sound like a good... Sonny will pop up saying they they've arrived right here. We need to go ahead and defend the town. Team Dino, Johnny Uno, some magician guy. I couldn't read the poster in time. Or is it Dean Domino? Domino, Domino. So what's going on? Well, I... Where's... There you are. Oh. Time to look alive. The powder... Alright, let's do this. At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Powder gangers are here to play. How many are there? Six. Oh, Easy Cobb Pete came through with the dynamite. I'll be... Yes, I would use my machete. I actually had to one time because they started running away. Kind of made me mad. I was like, why are you running from me? The brave and strong powder gangers. And they run away from a guy with a machete. He had a shotgun too. Not, not only... He was a good shotgun. The sun is green. The sun is green. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these. Oh, there's Ringo. I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I owe you more than that, though. That was a hell of a fight. Yeah. 
shouldn't, because, you know, they come back up and pop up and be like, what are you guys doing? Why are you attacking my friends? Shovel. I don't need the shovel, actually. There are these spots all around the maps. Push bag. I will take that. Stem pack. I will take that. And that. And that. And these. And that. And that. And these. Actually, I don't want the stem packs. Because they heal, but they won't do anything for your food. Keep my syringes. Give me a shout of- should have like replicas of these posters on their website or something because that'd be cool to have. I don't know what it was brought you to yeah, Prim, youngster, yeah, but you might want to rethink your plans. So you Town's gone to posters. hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express yeah. outpost. Those. Those were. Well, I don't. I'll tell you whatever I. Oh. So you're talking about one of them. Lost a package. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying. Strange. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job cancelled. Hope a storm from Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression I said sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job. Just No. Let Courier Six carry the package. That's what he said. Like No idea. Sounds like... Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Well, now that you've mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con... Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them.
You come to the wrong place, traveler. Prim's dying. If you've got any sense. Came to the wrong place, traveler. Prim's dying. If you've got any sense, you'll be moving on. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Just mows you on the A pack of cigarettes is worth like a couple of caps, but not really worried about it. I'm gonna keep sneaking around. It's easier to sneak around when you first start any game. Current cigarettes, pre war money, I'll take that. Right, there's no one in the hallway right now. Got you. Yeah. 
don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. I'm in a bit of a per... Indeed, I'd... Excuse me, sorry for that. Oh, that's just my... I do hope this ordeal... discussing how to make this town safe. Hey there. Well, that was quite an adventure. Breaking myself out of a hostage problem. Breaking yourself out of the hostage? Alright, so now we need to help bring law and order to this town, but I am going to go ahead and stop right here. This is going to be the end of episode 3. Next episode, we'll be helping find a sheriff for this town, which is weird. Do you think the deputy will take over? But he says he feels he's not qualified. I can understand. He